Guys, it is official. Duskmane and Dawn Wings form of Necrozma is coming to Pokemon Go during Go Fest this summer. It's super exciting. Part of my voice, I'm a little bit sick, but we're gonna talk all about it. Everything you need to know, let's get right into it. Okay, first of all, we all know Necrozma is coming to Pokemon Go during Go Fest this summer. And of course, we'll be debuting at the Sendai, Madrid, and New York Go Fest before finally appearing at the Global Go Fest at the like mid-July. But Pokemon Go has announced that you can now actually fuse your Necrozma with either a Solgaleo or a Lunar to turn them into Dusk Main or Dawn Wings Necrozma. Let's talk about this fusion thing first. First of all, it's gonna take you a thousand of the solar fusion energy or lunar fusion energy to actually fuse a Necrozma with a Solgaleo or Lunala. Of course, solar energy is gonna be for the Solgaleo, lunar is gonna be for the Lunala. So it's not just one energy for both. Also, it's gonna cost you 30 candies of each Pokemon. So you need 30 Cosmog candies and 30 Necrozma candies. But if you have that, you can then take a Solgaleo and a Necrozma, for example, spend a thousand of that energy energy, 30 candies of each, fuse them together. And that's obviously going to turn into Dusk Main Necrozma. Same thing with Dawn Wings Necrozma. Once they are fused, they are fused together. It is not like Megas, they go away after eight hours. They are fused forever. You can unfuse them if you'd like for completely free, but that's pretty much it. I'm not sure how the IVs work, like what IVs get taken. Is it Necrozma's IVs that probably get taken? Like I, I'm not 100% sure how that works, so I'll get some info on that. But nonetheless, they get fused forever. Also, if you do fuse a Necrozma with a location card from GoFest, like the Madrid location card, it does stay. So your Dawn Wings or Dusk Main Necrozma will have that location card. Also, when they do get fused, they automatically will get their legacy moves with Dusk Main Necrozma getting Sun Seal Strike and Dawn Wings getting Moon Geist Beam. These legacy moves are looking very, very strong. In PvP, Sun Seal Strike will do 135 damage and 230 in gyms and raids. And the same thing with the Moon Geist Beam, the exact same stats. Don't know how much energy it's going to take, but these things are going to hit very hard and will probably make Dusk Main and Dawn Wings Necrozma top steel type and top um, ghost type potential attackers. But we'll get into the exact rankings of it in a further video. Now, the question is, how do we actually get fusion energy? Well, fusion energy is going to be available, of course, in two types, solar fusion and lunar fusion energy, and is first going to be available during your city experience during the in-person GoFest if you're going to any of those. So if you're in Sendai, Madrid, or New York, you're going to get a branching research task where you can go ahead and choose either Dusk Main, Dawn Wings, and then complete that research task, and you'll get enough fusion energy to fuse an across. So it looks like you can only choose one unless you're going obviously multiple of the in-person go fest But that's the first availability of this Of course, if you are in any of these cities, but you don't have the ticket for these events You will not get access to any of this Hey guys, I quickly want to let you know that the Mexico trip with me and Pokemama is a go. Yes, September 28th to October 3rd. Me and Pokemama are going to be in Mexico and you can join it as well. Tickets are now on sale, link below. It's going to be six days of fun. We're going to play Spot Hour, Raid Hour together, hunt Haluchas and other local activities. And you'll even be part of a video where I complete my Pokedex, which will be huge. And I'm adding anyone who comes on the trip. Again, tickets link below or pin in the comments. And I hope to see you there. Also, at these events, Sendai, Madrid, and New York, Necrozma, regular Necrozma, will be in raids, and it will be able to be shiny. If you do remote raid in from across the world into these GoFest raids, you can catch Necrozmas early if you'd like. They cannot be shiny. They will be shiny locked for non-ticket holders. Now, for anyone not going to any of these in-person GoFests, how do you actually get these forms of Necrozma? And it's going to all be available starting on day two of the Global GoFest. Now, I don't believe you need a ticket even for Global GoFest, but during day two of Global GoFest, Dawn Wings, Necrozma, and Dusk main Necrozma are going to be in raids. Yes, just straight up in raids. So anyone around the world can obviously raid these Pokemon and when they defeat them, it's going to be similar to a Mega Raid where you will catch a regular Necrozma and you will get some Mega Energy along with it. And I hear you also even get Cosmog Energy, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's not like you're catching Dusk Main or Dawn Wings Necrozma straight up. You're going to be raiding it, catching a regular Necrozma and getting Fusion Energy like a Mega Raid. Again, this is all day two of Global Go Fest. However, on top of that, during Global Go Fest, I'm not sure what day, anyone who does have a ticket will also get a branching research quest line that can go ahead and get you a encounter with a Solgaleo or a Lunala. So obviously if you choose, you know, the Dusk Main path, you will get an encounter with Solgaleo as well as some solar fusion energy and vice versa. Also for anyone who doesn't have a Solgaleo or Lunala to fuse, everyone is going to get a free research during Global Go Fest that will get us another encounter with Cosmog. So if you don't have Cosmog yet, there will be one available for free for you. So theoretically, you can get Dusk Main and Dawn Wind's Necrozma for free because you get that Cosmog, do a bunch of Necrozma raids, get that energy. But obviously, it's a thousand energy, and we still don't know how much energy is going to be dropping from each raid. Final thing I'll say, Dusk Main and Dawn Wings Necrozma cannot be traded, cannot be transferred, and cannot be sent to Pokemon Home. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is Fusions in Pokemon Go, this new feature coming to the game. I'm very curious, number one, how the IVs are going to work, what Pokemon will, you know, 
what IVs will we get when you fuse them? And also how much fusion energy is dropping from those raids in the research? And you know, just like how available is this energy? Because a thousand is a tall ask, especially if you're getting like 50 per raid. Nonetheless, comment below if you're excited. The cool thing about this as well is that this does open up the doors for many other fusion Pokemon, you know, black and white Kyurem in Pokemon Go. There's also like an ultra form of Necrozma I've even heard of that could potentially come to Pokemon Go later this summer, who knows? So I'm really excited for fusions to finally be coming and hopefully we see more of this in Pokemon Go. Stay tuned for plenty more GoFest videos and watch the one below. If you enjoyed this one, you will enjoy that one as well. And follow for diffs. Peace.